my students, in this video I will be explaining how to use stack crumbs to solve a sampling distribution problem. I have this problem that I solved already using normal distribution table, but if you have stack crowns, use the fact that the stack crown has the standard normal distribution. For example, in this case, there was a problem and you, and you need to find the probability that the mean is more than 4.1. The first step that you did was compute the z value corresponding to this 4.1 and transform the problem from a problem in which you need to compute the probability that the mean is more than 4.1 to a problem where the variable, the value of z is more than 1. So you transform the 4.1, the value of the mean, in a value of z. And the z score of 4.1 was 1. So this is the number that you are going to use in stat crowns. So in stat crowns, go to stat, calculator, normal, and by default, stat crowns use the standard normal distribution. So the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. This is the standard normal distribution. You don't need to change that. The only that you need to use is the fact that the question is probability that Z it's that to say x because this is the name of the of the variable in stat crunch but you know that in this case we use the value the value of z so leave it as it is just change the sign here is more than so use here more or equal there is no more than in stat crunch for the normal distribution for any continuous distribution there is no symbol without an equal actually the equal signs in a continuous distribution doesn't have any meaning. So don't worry. So this is the probability that the z is more than 1. Just change the number and press enter or compute. When you press compute, the answer is 0 0.15865. That is exactly the thing that we obtain using the table or using Excel. That's it. Any time that you're going to solve a problem related to a sampling distribution of the mean or the sampling distribution of the proportion, you need to use the standard normal distribution. And StatCron has the standard normal distribution. Let's see another one, another problem. For example, this problem. In this problem, we want to compute the probability that the mean the sample mean will be between these two values. What we do? We transform or we find the z score of each of these two values. And the z score of the first value is 0 0.62. The z score of the second one is 1. So this is something that you need to do by hand. And then, after that, you have transformed a problem that was in the normal distribution first to a problem that is in the standard normal distribution and this is the one that you are going to use so you have that z it will be between 0 0.62 and 1 and we want to compute the probability that z will be between these two values because it's the z is between so in the stat crunch choose between so between and the only that you need to do, do is again Stat Crown has the standard normal distribution. How you know that this is the standard normal distribution? Because the standard normal distribution is the one that has a zero as a mean, and the standard deviation is one. Okay, and then the value, of the smallest value is 0 0.62, 0 0.62, and the biggest value is one. So the only that you need to do is compute. The, uh, the answer is 0 0.10897. As we found 0 0.1089 using the table. So this value is 0 0.1090 actually. So this is a more precise value for this problem. The same happens if you have a problem of sampling distribution if the question is the proportion. For example, here we have a question in which we need to compute the probability that the sample proportion will be less than 0 0.50. 
you again get the z score by hand you get the z score of this 0 0.50 and i get that is 1.42 so the problem is transformed from a problem that is the about the sample proportion to the to a problem that is about the z score and the question is what is the probability that the z score is less than 1.42 so the again here we have z if we have z we have we can use the standard normal distribution and this is a standard problem yeah so it will be probability that so treat here in standard not between then change the sign is less than so you need to use less or equal and the problem and the question and and the number is 1.42 and compute 0 0.9222 if we round it here, if that was the answer that we get using the table and using Excel. Remember, these are questions that we already solved using Excel or using the standard normal distribution table. And finally, here we have another problem. What is the probability that the sample proportion will be between these two values, 40% and 50%? So I transform the 40% and 50% or compute the Z score of these numbers and using the formula of the Z score for the sample distribution of the proportion. And I found that 1.42 was the, the, the number corresponding, the Z score corresponding to 0 0.50 and Negative 1.42 was the set score corresponding to 0 0.40. Okay, use these two values, one point, negative 1.42 and 1.42. These are the two values that you are going to use in stat crunch. Again, the question is between. So, click here in between. And now, the only that you need to do is type here the smallest number that is negative. 1.42 and the biggest number 1.42 and compute the answer is 0 0.8444 so that is the same answer that we obtained before using the table the standard distribution table again for computing a problem of probability of a sampling distribution of the mean or the proportion by hand compute the z scores and after that use the z score in the standard normal distribution of stat crunch how to get the standard normal distribution of the stat crunch go to stat calculator normal by default the thing that you are going to obtain the thing that stat crunch is going to use is the standard normal distribution in which the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. And this is the one that you are going to use. You don't need to change the mean and you don't need to change the standard deviation. You just need to change the value of Z here. Okay, that is my explanation about this problem, how to use the stat crunch to solve a problem of the sampling distribution of the mean or the proportion. I hope you have found it useful. Thank you.